you guys mark from centerline systems uh, if you've seen the earlier videos uh, we're out doing some, an overnight doing a little camping uh, just having some fun playing with some gear doing we just did a little fishing collected some firewood but uh, uh, I've already added another layer of clothing on so you may see the Sun behind me but the temperatures dropping uh, I got three layers on on top so it's gonna be a cold one so what I wanted to do here though is sit and talk about our folding saw pouches we have three different size folding saws. We got the regular folding saw, the big boy folding saw pouch, and then we have the buck saw pouch. <clears throat> I haven't talked about those uh, in a while, so we've just been using them, collecting firewood, so I figured why the heck not before we start our fire, let's talk about the folding saw pouches. So as I just mentioned, we've got our standard folding saw pouch. Now this is designed for like the Silky F-180, the Gone Boy, uh, the Baco Laplander. We got the big boy folding saw pouch. This is for the Silky Big Boy, uh, it's, and, and I'll break all these saws out so you can see them if you're not uh, familiar with everything I'm talking about. And this is for, this is the buck saw pouch. This is for the, uh, like the Baco Laplander and uh, uh, the, some of the larger Sven saws. But you know, one thing, I, before I start talking about the saws, I just kind of realized, you know, these are saw pouches. However, it, it's way more than just a saw pouch. So there's so many different items that you could put inside this pouch, for example, right? So this is an F-180 Pro. But if you think about this, this is flashlights, condiments. Uh, heck, you could get a thing of, uh, yeah, I bet you could. I mean, it might be a little bit tight, but like summer sausage, you know? So there's all kinds of different items that you can put in all these pouches. And I think that really highlights uh, one part of it. Yeah, I made it for a folding saw, but because of the size and the utility and the, and the different ways that you can carry it, it makes it a, may, a way more efficient uh, pouch than just a folding saw pouch. But it is a folding saw pouch. All right, so the folding saw pouch, I just pulled it out. That was an F-180 that's in here. What's really nice about all of our pouches, and I'll show each of the pouches here in turn, but on the back of the pouch, there's a sleeve. Now, there's multiple ways that you can wear the folding saw. So you can either use the molly on the back and then attach it to uh, a rucksack, you can attach it to the outside of the Scout. Uh, in an earlier video, you saw I had it attached to the outside of the Burrito, attach it to the outside of the Mother, or just run it over your belt and just wear it over your belt as is. But you can also run your belt through the axe sleeve, and then now you can carry this in a Scout configuration. But that axe sleeve on the rear is designed for a Camp X. Now, I get a lot of questions about this, so this is a good opportunity to address it. There's so many axes out there, I don't know them all. So this is an H. Roselli. So you can see, you know, the end of it is really kind of oversized. And it'll fit in here with the saw, right? It is a little bit tight just on the handle portion, but you know, but or on the end of the handle. But then the rest of the handle has more than enough uh, space to slide in here. It's actually in there really nice and secure. I've had some customers ask me, and, and I, I look at some of the different axes, you know, and it's really, if you think about the shaft, if the shaft's got a big curve or a big bellow at the end, you know, for like, you know, where your hand's going to grip it, well, that might be an issue. But give me a call if you got a question, and I'll help you try to figure out if the axe that you have or the axe that you're looking to get will fit in the sleeve for the corresponding uh, saw pouch. Um, so here's one more thing I want to talk about with the, the regular folding saw before I go into the other ones. I was just mentioning carrying configur configurations. So on our padded strap wraps on our shoulder straps for every one of our items. And Big Spoon probably isn't gonna be able to zoom into this, but these are called two-way adapters, all right? So every shoulder strap and padded strap wrap comes with two of these things. So another way that you can carry, now you could do it with the other saw pouches, but I necessarily wouldn't recommend it. But with the folding saw pouch, you can definitely do it. So right down here, I've got a Y harness on my Sherpa belt, and I've got padded strap wraps set up. So over on one side, I have a Legome knife, but what I wanted to point out here is, so I've got a two-way adapter connected, and I just now realized this is multi-cam black and I'm wearing black, so again, this may not show up too well, but I've, I've attached the two-way connector to one of the loops on the shoulder strap, and again, the shoulder strap and the padded strap wrap, it's all the same, but I've left one of them open. I'm gonna run that through the molly on the back of the folding saw pouch, and I'm going to snap that in place and they are a bear 
to snap in place. There, you may have heard that. And when they're locked in, they're locked in. And now you could actually put your folding side, and you get two of the two-way adapters. So you could do one high and one low on the different loops on the folding, or correction, on the uh, padded strap wrap or the shoulder strap. And you could lock this in place, and now that could be right up here if that's where you wanted to carry it. All right, so that's the folding saw pouch. Again, Baco Laplander, F-180 Pros, Gomboys, saws, the smaller saws of that nature. You know, and on that note, um, so that's what I've been used to carrying, right? So I, avid bow hunter when I came back and I moved back to Minnesota, um, and I shoot very rustic uh, shooting lanes for my archery. And so I used to always carry a Baco Laplander. And what I really like about that folding saw pouch is, again, I can throw it on my waist, I can throw it on a shoulder strap, I can just throw it in, in, in if I'm carrying a ruck. And, you know, I used to use it just to trim down branches in my shooting lanes. Uh, but then, you know, you guys are such great customers, you know, like, hey, that's awesome, but you know, make me this or make a larger one. And hey, don't you know about this other folding saw? And the answer was like, no, because I never really used folding saws for my wood processing, you know, out in the field. And um, so I'm here to tell you, and we just did this a little while ago because we got wood for tonight. Man, I, if you've got a good folding saw, I really like the next one, which is the Silky Big Boy. And I just love the, the way this saw uh, cuts wood. And I really feel like if I had this saw, and a good camp axe, I could probably make my own Jeremiah Johnson like fortress of solitude with this thing. This thing will eat up some wood. So anyway, so here's the big boy, and it's kind of called that because it's designed around the sides of the silky big boy, right? <clears throat> It'll fit other things in here, as I mentioned before. You could put telescopic walking poles in here, large flashlights, um, but it's designed around the silky big boy. Some of the differences between the big boy and the standard folding saw pouch are up front. So on the big boy, you get three rows of molly up front, so you could mount another pouch up here. And I think about a year, two years ago, when we first came out with this, I mounted one of our med pouches that we make for Black Scout survival up on the front. So, because that makes sense. If I'm out processing firewood, you know, I run the risk of like, you know, <laughs> may, like this Roselli has bit me once or twice, you know, like, Thank God it really hasn't like tried to eat my leg, but imagine if I bury this into my kneecap or something stupid, well, I might want to have a, uh, a med kit. So you could put a pouch in here with a boo-boo kit or a good med kit. I've got a ferro rod. Oftentimes I'll just put a small knife on the outside of it. So I've got a knife, my, um, uh, my folding saw, and then I've got a ferro rod for starting fire. On the back side, so you know, you have molly. So again, you can molly this to a rucksack you could actually weave the molly through these straps and then run your belt through there if you wanted to run your belt through the molly. Uh, it, you know, so if I just took this, for example, and then I wove it like so. And you could play around with this. But now I just created a channel right there and I could run that over. This could be running over the side, the waist pad of my rucksack or it could over my belt right there. And now I could carry it that way. But then on the bottom, <clears throat> and this is the same for the buck saw, but I'll go over it. So then you got this little, I call it just like a kicker webbing. So if you're running a shorter camp axe, you'll notice that that handle won't come all the way down. If you're running a mid-sized camp axe or a larger one, you don't want that axe handle flopping around. Now this is not a good example because this axe is shorter, but you get the picture. It's so your axe handle can go through there. So that way as you're walking around, you don't have an axe handle moving around like this as you're walking, right? That's what that little kicker strap is for. And then each one of them comes with a leg strap. So if you are wearing this on your waist and it is, you know, you are running long, longer saws, especially when you go over to the buck saw pouch, you might want to use this leg strap just to, you know, hold it on down to your side. And if you don't want to, well then take the leg strap off and guess what? Now it's a cinch strap for a poncho or a jacket or anything. It's another little cargo strap. And then on that note, <clears throat> excuse me, get a little chilly. I got a little runny nose going. Oh, it might be the Corona. <coughs> All right. It's really not. It's just because it's cold. All right. So here's the buck saw pouch. Uh, so the difference between the buck saw and the big boy is the size, right? So this right here is designed for, All right here we got the, uh, Agawa Canyon Boreal 21. So this is a fold-out saw as opposed to, well, it, it's a triangular, would you call it a triangular saw? I mean, it folds out like a regular saw. As rhombus. Opposed, what's that? It's a rhombus. Well, okay, so Big Spoon's getting mathematical. I mean, he just called it a rhombus. But anyway, this saw 
folds open. And we just used this earlier today to cut up a bunch of wood. These are great saws. They're a little bit larger, right? But so again, when you are really thinking about serious firewood production or creating things, these are great saws. So the, um, and then this will also take the Sven saws, especially some of the larger Sven saws. So the, the Boreal Canyon is kind of the same design as the Sven saw, but it's a lot easier, I think, uh, to get out there and get into uh, production. Uh, but now because it's larger, so you've got four molly loops on the back or on the front side. So again, larger pouches, more pouches, uh, additional um, items go up the front. You still have the axe sleeve in the rear. So this would be, you know, work obviously for a much longer, a mid-size to long size camp axe. You still have the molly in the back, so you can still attach it to a rucksack. You could wear it on your belt. And if you do wear it on your belt, same thing. You've got the leg strap because this is, you know, like... That's not a knife. Now this is a knife long, right? So this would be really long. This would be, if you had this on your waist, this is definitely coming down to your kneecaps, unless you're like Big Spoon, who's like bigger than most people. But here's another thing I just wanted to point out as with all of them, you know, and I would recommend this, you know, as a consideration for the uh, Bucksaw pouch and the big boy, if you wanted to, you can shoulder carry them, right? So they don't come with a shoulder strap, but I'm just showing you right here, you know, how you can do this. So if you just order a shoulder strap or if you have a shoulder strap, you know, lying around, you know, if you've got the right type of buckles, now we use ITW Nexus and these are called split bars. So I can actually weave them through the Molly and then I could just weave this and now I could just wear this over my shoulder and uh, I could still have an ax on there if I wanted to. I could still use the leg strap if I wanted to, but it just shows you another carrying configuration. Um, and then here's the, an example of what I said earlier. Here's one of our shoulder straps. And you can see this one inch webbing coming down the inch and a half, but the one inch makes loops. So you would use that two way adapter, run it through, connect it. And then now I could run my folding saw through here. I mean, so if you wanted to get crazy, you could have a folding saw pouch mounted here, and then you'd have your big boy or your buck saw uh, on the shoulder strap. All right, a little bit of information um, not a ton, right? But uh, hopefully informative. Probably not as educational because I'm getting a little chilly. Oh, by the way, I do want to end with one thing. So before we shot this video, we had a little break and uh, we got right over in the side here, we got our little kitchen table. And uh, I just had some cheese and crackers, but the cheese I had was canned cheese. So I bought a case of canned cheese just to experiment and, you know, have a little bit more, you know, you know survival type of food lying around. And I'm here to tell you, Canned cheese might sound horrible, but it's a million times better than MRE cheese. I was really impressed. So what does that have to do with folding saw pouches? Absolutely nothing. I guess it's a test to see if anyone watches to the end of the video. All right, so on that note right there, hey, if you guys got questions, comments, you know the deal. Reach out, emoticon, text message, email, phone call, whatever. I'll do the best to help you out. As always, be good. Take care. Woo! Big spoon. <laughs> Real big spoon. <laughs>